Dumso is back and this time is greater, bigger and better. Hopefully it's shorter. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you've got your pre doom selfie testimonies, sha hallelujah. I see you, I see you, and I can see some of you are yet to receive your testimonies. But I tell you, they that wait upon the doom shall receive their so sha hallelujah. Choir, take over. Oh, Betty. But they that wait, but they that wait, but they that wait. But they that wait upon us oh, 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 shall renew their doom. So wait on the doom, wait on the doom, so wait on the doom. So wait on the doom, cause they that wait upon us oh, 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 shall renew their so Anyway, um, wait. Wait, applaud this to a mem, applaud this to a mem, wait, encore. I mean, you've got to love these choir masters and mistresses. They always have a lot of energy. And I don't know why we are not utilizing them for our rural electrification programs. They have too much energy. But wait, we have a problem, sincerely. But our problem right now is that we are having problems calling our problem by its name. Whereas a good number of Ghanaians say they are experiencing an erratic power supply that is dramatic, the authorities say, oh, we can't call it like that, and all of that. Well, Boy News' impeccable sources reviews the real name and cause of the problem. It will shock you. Welcome back to Backpage on City TV with me, Caleb Kuda. Now, one of my viewers says I don't open my mouth when I mention my name. So, Monday, this is for you. To business. Boy News' investigative piece, impeccable as it is, has revealed the true cause of Dumso in Ghana. But first, are we back to Dumso or Dumkakra? Well, our in-house analyst prefers to call it Dumshia. This is because this doom often comes unannounced. Doom so is not late. Papa deceive states. To be fair, this is not the first time we're experiencing doom. The heat that doom share beneficiaries enjoy is not even their biggest concern, not even the mosquitoes. I mean, nearly every citizen has a Zugu mosquito quail by now. Yeah. And uh, for, for many, the romantic manner in which the doom comes is the problem. Previously, it was a silent killer. Oh, Mahama. But these days, the ladies say the doom comes slowly, plays around the fall before properly coming. Like, if you will come, come already. And uh, right, plus. Get our consent, like, give us a schedule, like, if you're going to come, get our consent, give us a schedule. Well, so here's what we found is the cause of Doomshia. yeah Shocking revelation there in our latest investigative piece, Doomshare in the Akuma of the Mind, giving you a blow by blow account of how DJ Switch, the new head of operations at the security zone of now PDS, that is the Progressive Doomshare Services, is running our power supply. So now you know, while you get home stressed out and all, 
DJ Switch picks up her turntable or Doom turntable, gets to the museum, and voila. But here's a historical account of our journey from Doomsaw to Doomsia, produced by our affiliates, Creo Concepts. Ghana is in reverse gear. We shall interrogate the issues. <laughs> I'm Mr. Doom, so they call me. Mahama, Mahama. Doom, so they call me. Mahama, Mahama. Doom, so they call me. <laughs> They're 12 hours off and then 24 hours on. And it's called Doom, so. Doom and so. Yes, sir. No. Oh, dear Ghana, for. Doom, so. Doom, so. Oh, sir, sir. No. Doom, doom. Doom, doom. <laughs> even though you haven't heard this for a while now let me remind you that doomso is still a wisdom problem okay now we saw stories about how doomso purportedly hit parliament interrupting proceedings well I asked the Jeju, our parliamentary correspondent, and he said it was low current, adding that only the China imported microphones in parliament were not working. A Jeju, grateful for that clarification. Even though our in house analysts call it Dumxia, Energy Minister must come and tell us what it is we are experiencing now. Well, when you put off the lights, you say doom so, isn't it? In the past three years, it was doom cry. We are not in an era of doom cry. Okay? The lights may go off as we are witnessing, you know, but I can assure you that that long period that we, we, we envisit, that our, our opponent thinks that they want to capitalize on, that period will never come because we are managing the system. We have people here to manage the system and we can give assurance to Kanye. Whatever it is, you can't serve two masters at the same time. So you can let us know whether you prefer Amewu's Dumso or Kwabna Donko's Dumso. Drop your comment on our social media platforms and we'll, we'll, re we'll react to that. Now, the wind of Dumso has been blowing over academic institutions in a special way in the last two years. J.I.J. 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 They experienced this. The lecture there was changed, Colem. But U.G.W. U.G.W. No, a lot of drama, drama has characterized the changes there. And some people say it's because the Avono occur. But people are shocked at Afubrunio. They say, "Que Afubrunio, you suck lectures in their own way." You suck electors in their own way. Like, this is so cool. No, the man has shown he knows his level. But some of the students say, suddenly, oh, chassis, oh, trati. Three, I know currently I know about three. What for my department? And he was our age old. And he has been served down as age old. He called Dr. Dr. Ahmed Jinako. And one from Hyper, Dr. Sapo. So we don't know the reason why they are sad. So at least if they want to, if they want to make their dec
mean, we have to know the reason why they are attacked. They've given a dismissal letter to most of our lecturers, whom we deem the right people for the what verbal department. As for the hyper department, as for the art department, the political science department, and all of the principals who have been what dismissed and who been, whose contract has been terminated. I think today is today. And then, then you are asking you only. Yeah, messy, messy. And yeah, the account just stop on that, eh? Wallahi. Wallahi, the, the, the boys are really angry now. One thing I like about UEW demo, though, is that they had pity on their security man's banco, and, which is on fire, unlike their KNUSD friends. Also, they didn't destroy much. I mean, they were, they were just beating gallons, as far as I saw. Here's what is smart. They didn't want any committee to come and say they had destroyed this much. It's been assessed and uh, it's in the region of uh, about um, 1.6 to 1.7 million cities. So if we uh, use the old currency, it's about 17, 16 to 17 billion cities. I mean, in the case of UEW, they could build a whole new university without a lot of money. How about? Anyway, Minister of State in charge of tertiary education seems to say Alpha House, Manyo, is not good. So, Sean, that thing. The government is not going to sit down to allow this. I've pointed out that it is a, it is a multifaceted issue. Um, there should be higher levels of discipline. Um, members of government who are being over enthusiastic in the affairs of the University of, Eni University of Education in Winneba should be advised. Should know the separation and the distance between um, being a government official or a, legis a legislator on one hand and the university. Of course. You can display, display your enthusiasm and interest in the affairs of, the, of any university, but there are limits. But you know, when you add Ghana police to any demonstration, the result very often, tear gas. Hey, <laughs> tear gas. Well, I have never seen, and the emphasis is on never, I have never seen the education minister, Kasaprako Napo looked so confused in his entire career as free SHS minister before. Never. But thanks to the Public Accounts Committee, I had a feel. Yeah, Mr. Dakura is not here. We've just arrived and then this point is, uh, is, is revealed to us that uh, uh, we are not aware that we are to respond to this Dakura's case. But he's, he's not in the system. Frankly speaking, I don't know whether he's in the, in the, still in the Ghana Education Service. Well, so let me explain. Yeah, here's what happened. So, Ms. Aquinas Dakura is a principal superintendent, too, at the Jirapa Municipal Education Directorate, right? And his name has vanished from their system. He vacated post, actually. But for close to two years, he continued to collect salary, receive salaries, I mean, to the tune of over 11,000 Ghana cities. Imagine how many hot meals government could Cook for day students a day with that amount of money. Please, if the man is your old boy, if he is your father, your uncle, you know him, your husband, or your... Tell him to return the money. Because you know what? He can't compete with Woyome or Nam One. He won't win. I repeat, he won't win. He should return the money. But moving on. Nation Builder Score, Napco. They say they have not received their salaries for some months now. We haven't been paid yes. for the past four months. And you know what? They've subjected us through numerous validations, yes. updates of our details. But up till now, they proceeded and paid even for, for they paid, they paid December, de December, de November and December. They told us that we should update our details. On, on the portal, yes, we, we proceeded and yes. did that diligently. After but that, they, they yes, that. they've trashed all those efforts we demonstrated. When we go there, the same story every day, the money will come, the money will come. Meanwhile, they are paying the our colleagues. The most painful aspect of it is that those who are at home, 
those who haven't received placement yet, yes. they have paid them. Pay. But we, those who are on the fraud working, evidence is here. This is my updated uh, message. Everything is successfully. Okay. They can say that I haven't updated. Absorption of duty. Everything is successful. Many are with you, Those who have not been placed are receiving their money. Those who have been placed are working and everything. Well, on top of this, some accuse the officials of extortion. Apparently, some of the builders say there is a 30 Ghana City compulsory deduction for a clause B. If you fail to pay for the three for for the clause, the 30 cities for about three months, you lose your allowance, or you could even be removed from the whole program. If this is true, here's a smart government indeed. This is still Backpage, your new satirical show on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. We'll take a quick break when we return. There is more. <laughs> At 8 p.m., City Newsroom brings you analysis of the major news stories of the day. In-depth, comprehensive, and researched. It's one hour of local and international news from 8 to 9 p.m. It's the City Newsroom, weekdays on City TV. Twisted and tangled story of betrayal, greed, vengeance, and love in the award winning Brazil Avenue. Carminia, a woman led by greed, gets rid of her husband, who is Rita's father, and sends Rita away to a filthy landfill. Rita finds love in Batata, but they are soon separated by adoption into different families far away from each other. Many years later, all paths cross again as Rita, now a renowned chef, seeks to pay back her stepmother for taking away her happiness as a child. It's the story of twists, turns, suspense, and thrilling action in Brazil Avenue. Catch the omnibus of Brazil Avenue on Saturdays from 7 to 10 p.m. and Sundays from 10 p.m. to 12.30 a.m. only on City TV. Welcome back to Backpage on City TV. My name is Caleb Kuda. Let me tell you all the story, shall I? Okay, thank you. So, sometime last year, there was a downpour, just that the rain was heavy palm. Forgive me, but this will make some sad. My intention is to spread that emotion with the rest of us for a purpose. Photos of a doctor were shared around as the family feared she had gone missing. As a reporter, I was assigned to a scene where her car was trapped. I was also to report on West Head parts of the city. Now, I go to the scene early. I got there early. In no time, journalists had swarmed around the scene like we were vultures ready for information. We saw the lady's car trapped under a stream with heaps of silts and debris. Nadmore officials were at the banks of the stream, poking freshly plucked branches of a tree, very lean, into the stream, hopefully, to give them signals or to find them. I don't really know. But my time was really ticking, and I needed to visit many other parts of the city for a report. So I had to leave only... Uh, reporting on what I had seen. From my monitoring, however, I realized that my colleagues who reported at the other media houses um, reported that the lady was found. Of course, not by Nadmo, but by the local people. 
I had to independently confirm this, so I called the contact of the family I had. Has she been found? Is she dead? Is it true? I asked quite impatiently because I needed to report live on air and there was no time. But the person on the other side of the phone didn't respond as quickly as I wanted. I almost said, sister, dear Nawuye. Then I realized the family was dealing with the death of one of its own. As much as I was all about the statistic, it was all about their life and someone they hold dear. What's my point? It's shameful that nearly a year after that cruel passing of this doctor in her prime, nothing has changed. In fact, the last time I visited the area, people were still building, still building on the waterway. The running water then carried her car away, smashed and dragged it under a small bridge. People were still throwing refuse into that same gutter. I'm afraid this year we may have to repeat this ritual as journalists. And as a citizen, I feel defrauded by my country. See this. Within these four years, by the end of the four years of my term in office as president, Accra will be the cleanest city in Africa. Yeah, right. I believe so. It is possible. For me, this was or is... One of the most crucial things President Akufuado has promised to do, of course, at the end of his tenure. But see this. These are parts of the city, okay? And these are drains, and that is litter. That is plastic, and it's just, it's just an eyesore. These are parts of the city. Look, and we throw things like that, and that's just, just, that's just how we do it. Cleaner city, it's a big problem. I mean, this is Irish. But yeah, yeah, that's what we're seeing. These are parts of a crowd. There's a lot more that we need to do. As I speak, there are reports that Insumia landfill site is not working. Neither is Ajen Kotoku's. Pressure is piling up at the clean landfill, and you can only imagine what's ahead of us with the onset of the rains. You forget about the landfills. What investment has government made towards galvanizing the media to launch programs that will re-engineer the attitudes of citizens towards making a crowd a cleaner city and a green as my own addition city in Africa? Go to Kaneshi Market and smell something. Your life will never be the same. I can promise you, Kaneshi Market, as it's raining, your life will never be the same. Take a walk around at, Abaka, at night. The mice that will jump at you they are bigger than the Nkrantia you will see on a Kumasi road. Go to circle and see. The lawns have become a Sakura park. If the media doesn't report it, the state actors simply go to bed. With less than two years to the four-year tenure entrusted to this government, is Sakura becoming any cleaner? Do you, employers of the government, feel your employees are keen on making Accra and your city any cleaner? Let me end here. Let me end it by showing you these photos of a village in a certain African nation. Just take a very good look at these photos and compare them to the images of your capital city. Just do that. It's possible. We can do it. We can make Accra clean. Our leaders must do their job of leading us there. But Ghana is beautiful, Mum. Thanks to the Heritage Caravan, we had a good feel of Ghana's beauty. Now see how your favorite radio personalities proved how courageous they can be on the caravan. <laughs> Just look at me, don't talk. Look at me, don't talk. Follow me. Don't talk. I'm not leaving you. Just come. I'm waiting for you. Come, come, come. I'm waiting for you. Come on. Come.
It's Heritage Month. It's good to explore what makes us unique. That's why you need to be at the Accra Music Expo at the AMA Falcon. This year's program features some top local acts, including Afro Soul artist Sina Soul. Mafio singer Adani Best. Eccentric Gam Music Group, Dromona, who are noted for their great rendition of God tunes. <laughs> Great. Often when you hear the phrase cha omanye ablao, I used to hear cha omami aba yeah cha omami aba, and I was like, how is that possible? Am I supposed to cha omami aba? Apparently, my girlfriend say it means may glory bind us or something like that. Ghana is truly beautiful. We have the power to make her more glorious by giving our best or reducing her to nothing. Whoever you are, choose the best for us. My name is Caleb Kuda. That's how we end Backpage this week. Um, you can find me on Facebook, Caleb Kuda on Twitter, at Caleb Kuda on YouTube. You can find all our episodes. On YouTube, you can find all our episodes, CTTV, GH, and Backpage. Do have a pleasant time.